Hello everyone. In the fifth week of Building Materials course, we are going to talk about clay, glass and metals. Let's start with clay. Clay is an earthen mineral mass or fragmentary rock capable of mixing with water and forming a plastic viscous mass which has a property of retaining its shape when molded and dried. When such masses are heated to redness, they acquire hardness and strength. This is a result of microstructural changes in clay and its chemical property. Purest clay con consists mainly of kaolinite, kaolin with small quantities of minerals such as quartz, mica, feldspar, calcite, mag magnesite, etc. On the basis of resistance to high temperatures, uh, temperatures more than 1580 degrees Celsius, clays are classified as refractory, high melting and low melting clays. The refractory clays are highly dispersed and very plastic. These have high content of alumina and low content of impurities such as ferric oxide, tending to lower the refractoriness. High melting clays have high refractiveness, 1350 to 1580 centigrade Celsius, and contain small amounts of impurities such as quartz, feldspar, mica, calcium carbonate, and magnesium carbonate. These are used for manufacturing facing bricks, floor tiles, sewer pipes, etc. And we have low melting clays. Uh, that have refractoriness less than 1350 centigrade Celsius and have varying compositions. These are used to manufacture bricks, blocks, tiles, and etc. Admixtures are added to clay to improve its properties if desired. Highly plastic clays, which require mixing water up to 28%, give high drying and burning shrinkage. Call for addition of lean admixtures or non-plastic substances such as quartz, sand, shamot, ash, etc. Items of lower bulk density and high porosity are obtained by ad addition of admixtures admixture that burn out. The examples of burning out admixtures are sawdust, coal fines, pulverized coal, etc. Acid resistance items and facing tiles are manufactured from clay by addition of water, glass, or alkalis. Let's look at the production of clay products. Clay products or building ceramics are basically fabricated by molding, drying, and burning. We have uh, a digger, an excavator here, uh, getting clay uh, out of the earth. Uh, uh, in a metal grid, it's uh, screened and maybe crushed. Uh, it's mi mixed with sand and water. It can either be molded or it can be cut uh, via wire wires. We have bricks. First, we dry them, and then we have kilns uh, burning them. Uh, after that, we have packaging and delivery. Clay products can be used as vitrified or unglazed.